First of all, you'll have to put the left hand towards me like this, on your lap, comfortably. Imagine you don't have to go to Himalayas, do anything of the kind, just comfortably on your chair you should get your realization. That's your right. Put your left hand just like that. Now with the right hand we have to nourish our centers on the left hand side. First we put our hand on a heart because here is the spirit reflected. It's the reflection of God Almighty in the spirit. Then we go down onto the upper portion of our abdomen on the left hand side. This is the center of our mastery. If you are the spirit, you become your own master, you don't need any master. Your spirit guides you. Then you go down into the lower portion of your abdomen on the left hand side. This is how you know the knowledge on your central nervous system. Center is the one which gives you pure knowledge, Shuddha Vidya, which works on your central nervous system. Then you raise your hand again on top, on the left hand side of your abdomen and push it, which is the center for Guru principle. Supposing you have been to some wrong guru or anything, it can correct it. Then you have to put your right hand on your heart. Again, now you put your hand in the corner of your neck and your shoulder and you have to turn your head to your right. This is the center which catches when you feel guilty. And when you feel guilty, this center is catching, gives you many diseases, one of them is angina and also spondylitis and so many things happen to the organs because they become lethargic. So best thing is to put your hand here, properly and push your head to your right, like this. Then please take your right hand on top of your forehead and bend your head as far as possible. This is the center where you have to forgive. Forgive everyone without thinking whom you have to forgive. Whether you forgive or don't forgive, you don't do anything, it's our idea. But if you don't forgive, then you play into wrong hands. So please put your hand like this, this is the center for forgiveness without thinking about people whom you have to forgive or those who have harmed you. This is a very important Agya Chakra because this is very constricted one and if you don't forgive, it won't rise, Kundalini cannot get through. Just forgive. Now, push back the right hand on the back side of your head. This we'll be doing later, I'm just showing you the chakras. Now this back side here, because you feel guilty all the time, you think you have done wrong or anything. So best thing is just to ask forgiveness from the divine power, the center is here. Now, stretch your hand fully and put the center of your palm on top of the fontanel bone area, which was a soft bone in your childhood, the talu, here, just there. Push back your fingers nicely, push back so there's a good pressure on your scalp. <clears throat> Good pressure on your scalp. Now please bend your head as far as possible. And now you have to move your scalp slowly, seven times clockwise. Clockwise. With a pressure, move your hands backwards, otherwise, I mean your fingers, otherwise it won't have a pressure. No, done. 
Now, so first of all, we must have self-confidence in ourselves, must have respect. and love for ourselves. So now, we put our left hand like this, put both the feet apart from each other and now <coughs> close our eyes. Put the right hand on your heart, please. Put the right hand on your heart. <coughs> Here is the center of the spirit, here resides the spirit. You can ask me a question three times as you would ask a computer. In your heart, you can call me Sri Mataji or Mother, whichever way you like. Mother, am I the spirit? Ask three times, Mother, am I the Spirit? Sri Mataji, am I the Spirit? If you are the Spirit, you become your master. So now please take your hand on the left hand side in the upper portion of your abdomen and press it hard. Now ask her a question again. Mother, am I my own master? Ask three times please in your heart with full confidence. Mother, am I my own master? You are, but you just ask me the question. I respect your freedom and I cannot force on you pure knowledge. You have to ask for it. So now you have to put your right hand in the lower portion of your abdomen, press it hard on the left hand side. Now here you have to say, Mother, please give me pure knowledge. Shuddha Vidya. Sri Mataji, give me Shuddha Vidya. Please say it six times because this center has got six petals. Swadishtan center. Please give me Shuddha Vidya, pure knowledge. As soon as you <clears throat> ask for pure knowledge, the Kundalini starts rising. But you have to facilitate its movement by opening your higher chakras with your self-confidence. So please now, raise your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen and press it hard on the left hand side. Keep your feet apart. <coughs> Here you have to say ten times with full confidence in yourself, Mother, I am my own master. Say that, please. Mother, I am my own master. Mother, I am my own guru because all the great gurus, sadgurus have created this center for your ascent. And mother always wants her children, not only 
what she has, but to have much more than her. Now, <clears throat> at the very outset I have to tell you that you are not this body, not this mind, not these emotions, not these conditionings and ego, but you are pure spirit. <clears throat> so now raise your right hand onto your heart and say with full confidence twelve times, Mother, I am the pure spirit. Mother, I am the pure spirit, twelve times. Sri Mataji, I am the Shuddha Atma. With full confidence you have to say, I have to tell you <coughs> that this divine, all-pervading power is the ocean of knowledge, is the ocean of compassion and bliss. You have to say with full confidence, Mother, I am not guilty at all. Sixteen times, please say, You have to say, Shri Mataji, I am Nirdosha, I am Nirdosha. Please say it sixteen times. Say it for my satisfaction. Now raise your right hand on top of your forehead. As it is, I have already told you whether you forgive or don't forgive, you don't do anything. So now bend your head as far as possible and here with all humility, forgive everyone, just forgive. Don't think of people who have troubled you and tortured you, but just forgive them. That's the best way you can get rid of the burden, because you are praying into wrong hands if you don't forgive. Now say it from your heart, not how many times, but from your heart, Please say, many people say that it's very difficult to forgive. What is that difficult? It's just to say. Now, take back your right hand, the back side of your head, and push back your head as far as possible. Push back as far as possible. Here again you have to say from your heart, O oh Divine Power, if I have done anything wrong, please forgive me. If I have done anything wrong unknowingly, please forgive me. That also say it from your heart. Stretch your hand fully and put the center of your palm on top of the fontanel bone area, which was a soft bone in your childhood. It is called as talu. Talavya means Sanskrit. Now, put down your head as far as possible. Put down and now. Please 
try to move your scalp with a pressure by pushing your fingers outward. Please push your fingers outward, put a nice pressure and move it seven times. Clockwise, here again, I cannot force self-realization on you, you have to ask for it. So while moving your hand, say it seven times, Mother, please give me my self-realization. Mother, please give me my self-realization. I cannot force it on anyone. Take down your hands, open your eyes very slowly. Now, put your right hand towards me like this and bend your head and see for yourself if there is a cool breeze coming out of your head. See at the fountain elbow. Some people get it very close but not on top, little away, or some people get it like a jet quite far up. It may be hot also, possibly. It could be hot also. If you have not forgiven, it will be definitely hot. Now, please put your left hand towards me. Now, again bend your head and see for yourself if there is a cool breeze or a hot breeze coming out of your own head, you have to certify yourself. Is Sahaja Yoga is becoming something. As I told you, there's no certificate. Maybe some people are having hot breeze, doesn't matter. Now, again, please put your right hand towards me and bend your head. And see for yourself again. Now, just not to put it on top of your head, little away, then you will feel it, little away. Now, please put your hands like this towards me. Watch me and don't think you can do it. All those who have felt cool breeze on their fingertips or hot breeze even, and those who have felt either on the hands or out of the fontanelle bone area or in both the areas, please raise both your hands. Please raise both your hands.